time for a check of our weather. You are taking a live look. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. I had to pause for a second there as the sun <laughs> sets and you see our beautiful mountains in the background. Oh wow, a mild weekend to start, but another cool down is on the way. Colorado is just gorgeous. Meteorologist Daniel Grant with a look at our forecast. Daniel, what's our weekend looking like? So far so good. Doesn't that look like a painting or it something? It literally looks like a painting. I mean, it took your breath away. Mm -hmm. Mine okay. too, you guys, and we're in for a beautiful start to November. Today was awesome, but I want to rewind because we were just soaking in the heat throughout the month of October. And in fact, October 2024 going down in the record books as the second warmest October that we have ever seen here in Denver, 59.1 degrees. Today was a beauty, bright and blue out there. Temperatures did warm into the lower 60s. We saw a few high level clouds earlier this afternoon and then that sunset so bright out there, but nice to have a few clouds in the distance. Temperatures at 61 out of DIA upper 50s in northern Colorado, 50s and 60s across the eastern plains, a bit more seasonal, but so nice and dry. 50s up through the high country this afternoon. This ridge of high pressure will continue to keep us dry for the start of the weekend, but that area of low pressure out across the Pacific Northwest that's ushering in the rain, the snowfall for the Cascades, that'll be in our backyard by Sunday and then in the metro here early on Monday morning. Tonight, though, still quiet and dry. A beautiful Friday evening for you with just a few clouds out there. Temperatures tonight will fall to about 30 degrees here in Denver, mid to upper 20s in northern Colorado, mild in Springfield at 43, but overall in the 20s up in the high country, teens in Gunnison and through Alamosa. I'll show you the future cast. Cloud cover increasing tonight, but by morning it's stunning yet again. Bright and beautiful out there with plenty of sunshine for your Saturday. If you're going to be out and about running errands, the kiddos have soccer practice. I think you should be just fine. Now later in the evening, 5, 6 o'clock, if you live out toward the western slope, you'll notice the cloud cover increasing and then eventually here for the metro area about 10 11 o'clock we'll also start to see the clouds pour in ahead of that next storm so tomorrow certainly looks to be the warmest day out of the next about seven we'll sit at 65 here in the city low 60s in northern colorado 70 degrees in lamar with 40s and 50s up through the mountains into the foothills about 55 in idaho springs mid 50s in evergreen too and then pretty much mid 60s here for much of the metro in the i-25 corridor enjoy this nice warm weather it's a quiet start to November, but things will start to get busy as we look ahead toward next week. This is Sunday evening when the high country will be uh, looking at a bit of a winter wonderland out there. So if you're heading up to the mountains for the weekend, keep this in mind when you're coming back into Denver. Winter like traveling conditions for sure. We might see a few rain showers, but quickly as that cold front zips across the front range early on Monday morning, it'll drop our temperatures dramatically, plus bring us a little bit of snow. Doesn't last long. We're good to go for Election Day, but another storm system waiting in the wings. Temperatures will cool into the upper 50s on Sunday. Don't forget to roll those clocks back. It's cold with possibly a couple of inches of snowfall on Monday morning. We'll be fine tuning the forecast over the weekend. It's quiet on Tuesday and then another round of cold snow and wind roll in Wednesday and stick around through the end of the work week.